Dude, it freaking fits. Whoever said minivans aren't cool. Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to unbox the Hopper Coach. And this is the Coach bundle. So I get two launch ramps and a little table piece. And I'm just gonna thoroughly go over how these go together and then I'll ride them. <laughs> I'll show the different configurations too because I'm sure you're gonna be curious about that. Let's do it. Okay, so let's unbox this. And there you go. So this is the launch part. And it comes neatly packaged. And for transporting, this is how you would do it. And it basically unfolds with all these bits in here. So what's kind of cool about this is everything's numbered. So, and of course it comes with instructions. And so it's really easy to set up. I mean, it might look a little intimidating, but it's not too bad. I actually set up the first one without instructions, and this is my second attempt at doing it. And I basically can just look at it and see how it goes. These are the little feet. So I can, I'm just gonna set it up in its highest setting at first. So it's got like these bungees that kind of hold everything together. And so now you have the feet. And then, if I remember correctly, you slide one into one. <laughs> Doesn't get any easier than that. So basically, I forget, but basically we're setting up the, the support first. These don't come into play right now. So now we've got two and we have feet for the two. So go ahead and set those up. This one's a little tangled, <laughs> new out of the box. All right, so now we've got twos, and I, I believe, from what I can tell, they're, um, they can go either way, they're symmetrical. So we'll go ahead and set up two on two. So here you can kind of see, maybe we'll show you from the side, might be a little easier. And that's the bigger part. Now, <laughs> we, We've got numbers on here. These ones aren't numbered on two, which is kind of interesting, but the three is numbered. And so it's pretty straightforward that these lock into there. Um, it's like a puzzle piece. So you see this shape and that shape, and that just slides onto there. And then you've got the three and the three, three, three. So this piece goes here. And I mean, just like that, um, having only done this once with the other one, uh, super simple. I mean, uh, if you're doing portable stuff and you want to take this somewhere, literally five minutes at most. And the more you do it, obviously, you'll be faster at it. And then all you do at that point <laughs> is you take this and... I kind of just go by the direction of the wording, assuming that MTB hopper is going to point towards the rider, <laughs> your approach. And then you slide these little square pieces into the holes. There's little tabs that come up. And then you take these bungees 
and you secure them into place. Good. Well, now I gotta see where that was attached by going on the other side. <laughs> oh yeah, right through there, okay. And then, once you have these set up, and I noticed both of these, they were set backwards on this bottom one, because I'm pretty sure, maybe they're set to flip either way, depending on what height you set it at. Now you have the tops secured on there. And this thing's pretty solid. So one of the things that you'll want to do now once you have it set up is adjust the feet and I believe that these want to go one more down. If you have uneven surfaces you can adjust the feet to fit the uneven surface there. That seems a lot more so hip solid. So <laughs> that is the first part. <laughs> um, before I go on to doing the full tabletop, I want to show you the beginner mode on this one. <laughs> so what you do for that <laughs> is you literally can just take <laughs> these top parts off, fold them back. You want to undo this portion. And these little additional pieces come into play. And as you can see, they have that same little cutout in them. So when you slide them in, Line that up properly. Now, fold this back over. Now you have a little beginner ramp, which is rollable. And what's cool about this is you can even make it mellower by dropping these down. So if you need somebody who's full on beginner, wants the lowest jump possible, there you have it. So what's kind of cool about this is they can ride this way and jump off and not even really have to go that far. They can roll over it and ride down this part or they can come from this way and work on popping up the front wheel to get up and over. So that's why this is called the coach is it's got all these options and when you do set up this extension, you can uh, have it at different heights. So this would be in the lower height so it doesn't have to be quite as peaky. But um, let's go on to setting up the entire tabletop and I'll show you that. It is hot out here. I noticed when reviewing the video that this microphone is really sensitive. <laughs> and it's like you can hear my breathing and everything. It's kind of funny. Anyway, let's take out this uh, middle section. I think I should probably get a lapel mic that has a little fuzzy thing on top because that'll make the sound even better. I'm digressing. All right, so this is the middle piece and this is the first time I've played around with this. No instructions. And I'm gonna open this up. 
That looks like the tabletop piece. This looks like the support. And see how self-explanatory this is. These seem like they would, oh, these are look like they're the hook things that support the tabletop. So this looks like it's the bottom support stand. I don't know what height I have to set this at, but I can always adjust it later. These look like they slide right down that groove. <laughs> that looks way too high. I see why. Kind of want this to not be in the way though, so let's figure that out. <laughs> I see what I got to do. This goes on the lower groove. This goes on the upper groove. That makes a little more sense. <laughs> so without instructions, I'm able to just kind of like figure this out, even if I start to go down the wrong path. So there we go. And obviously this is going to have to be lowered some. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these really low. And I'll put them on, I'll adjust them after the fact because I know that this is going to hook there, that's going to hook there, and then I can set these to be the appropriate height once I have this all together. So it looks like this is designed go over once you have that locked on there so it doesn't come off. Let me see if I'm right. Oh, I see. It goes under. So you can lock it into place like that. I'd say this is probably the most difficult thing I've run across with this whole setup. It works, but... Hi Murph. <laughs> so again, these legs are too tall. There we go. So I'm just, this little band, nice, this little band is there to secure this so the tabletop stays hooked and then make sure you remove your dog leash from the different components of your MTB hopper so he doesn't get stuck there. All right, so now all we have left is the tabletop. And let's put that on, see how that secures itself. And I'm sure there's a rope, yep. Now we can adjust these legs that I want to be 
on the ground, so this is solid. <laughs> there we go. That was pretty much a raw video. No cuts, no anything of me setting this up. I'm just gonna grab the camera and bring it in closer so you can get a bit closer of a look. Um, if you're curious to know about these things, these are those little straps that hook on underneath just so this doesn't pull up. I'm gonna say it's a pretty sweet setup. Um, I can walk over it, trust that it's gonna hold up. I mean, it looks like it's pretty weak in the video, but it's actually a pretty sturdy piece of equipment. It's pressed plywood, similar to like a skateboard deck, and skateboard decks are pretty strong. <laughs> so, um, there you have it, there's the assembly. Now, <laughs> Let's ride it. Okay, let's give this thing a little simple test. I already know that the platform is way too short, but uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna hit it. Let's see. So if anything, this feels much closer to a spine, um, for me anyway. Uh, for beginners, this is like perfect. So I'm gonna love coaching with this thing. Um, I didn't even set up all the legs to be extremely stable on this uneven yard and grass. Um, just cause it's like almost 90 degrees. As you can see, I changed up <laughs> to a jersey cause that cotton tank top was like, just getting drenched. So uh, let's hit it a couple more times. See if we can change configurations. Kind of a medium speed approach. Pull up. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. And even though I, oh well, it's pretty stable. I, uh, for some reason, I didn't think it was, but. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. And the nice thing is, is I can pretty much move it around and put it anywhere. And if I put it in like a parking lot or something like that or flatter surface, it's gonna be even better. So let's uh, change it a little bit. Let's lower it down. Maybe see if I can lengthen it. Let's see. And the one option I haven't showed you yet is the highest launch option. Uh, in a case like this you could if you wanted to have it be a step down or you could set that and learn how to pop and make it be a step up i'm not going to do that today what i would normally do this for is if i found a nice big downside hill i could set this up right before that hill and just launch and then land on the hill and I will definitely find a hill to do that with because that sounds like a whole lot of fun. The other option is, is this might be tall enough to use as my launch for my jump box that I have now moved in the backyard. So, um, <clears throat> but this is definitely one setup that you can do for the biggest launch possible, which is pretty big. I mean, I don't know, hip height. <clears throat> so let's, uh, show some of the more beginner configurations so in this setup you could actually introduce somebody to gaps and this would be a low consequence gap because if you case your back wheel in there it's not going to be a big deal yeah introduction to gaps 
this is a great coaching tool. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, especially uh, with my students that always are asking me how to jump. This is a, such a great, safe way to introduce them. Um, the other thing that's kind of neat is even with just this setup, you can raise it. I'm gonna just go to max height right away. But you have three different height adjustments. And so you can actually slowly evolve the height. So you can get somebody used to getting a little bit more pop, a little bit more height. Let's go ahead and hit this. <laughs> So what's nice about this is I can pull this further and make it longer and longer and longer and find out that distance I can go. Um, anyway, I'm going to conclude this video. Um, I'm pretty stoked about this. Hopefully me doing all these configurations and assembling it in pretty much raw format on this video, you get an idea of what this is. Um, I just haven't seen anything super thorough on these this is the coach bundle you can get just the coach which is just one side you can buy the tabletop piece separately which if you wanted to use that to you know have a bigger launch also like i showed so infinitely configurable um i could probably even come up with more ideas on how to make this a tabletop for somebody who's even not comfortable with this, this gap so um, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.